Hello everyone. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of mechanical engineering and programming. I am excited to guide you through the process of programming a slider crank mechanism using MATLAB. So let's get started. Before we jump into the code, let's briefly discuss what a slider crank mechanism is and where it is used. The slider crank mechanism is used to convert the rotary motion into the linear motion. This mechanism has three main components, a crank, a connecting rod and a slider. Here from point A to point B is called as crank, from point B to point C is called as connecting rod and this rectangular box here is called as slider. The length of this crank is generally smaller than that of this connecting rod. This mechanism has wide range of applications in IC engine, pumps, compressors and robotics. Now let's move on to the MATLAB code. We will first assign the length of the crank and connecting rod to the variables R1 and R2. Next we will create a plot with axis X and Y. The X axis ranging from minus 300 to 500 and the Y axis ranging from minus 300 to 300. Further we will create a matrix named NM. This matrix is used to store the positions of the crank, connecting rod and the slider. That is this points A, B and C. In this section of the code, we will create a dotted circle which shows the circular path of the rotating crank. Here you can see this dotted circle. This variable omega stores the value of angular velocity of crank which is used further in the code. The higher value of omega will make the crank speed faster. In the next part of the code, we are using for loop to create a continuous animation of the slider crank mechanism. This loop will iterate for 700 times. So the higher the value of i, the longer will be the duration of the animation. This theta variable updates the angle of crank based on the current iteration. This variable APH stores the formula for calculating the angle between the connecting rod and the horizontal axis. This equation below computes the distance between the origin and the slider, determining the position of the slider. This matrix NM stores the distance between the origin and the slider within its first row and the coordinates of point B that is connecting rod are stored in the second row of this matrix NM. Now this is the last part of the script where we plot the results on the graph. This plot command creates a dotted center line passing through the origin. You can see this dotted center line. This next plot command creates a dotted circle with black color around the path of the crank. You can see this dotted circle here. This rectangle function is used to draw a red color rectangle at point C which acts as a slider. And this part of the program uses the text function to display these points A, B and C on the graph and also this text of slider with an arrow. This last plot command plots the points A, B and C on the graph and the pause command below inserts a short pause to control the animation of speed. All these points A, B and C are plotted on the graph for every iteration and are also up updated for the next iteration. This continuous loop of 700 iterations creates a rotating animation of slider and crank mechanism. So these are the final results of the code. Thank you for watching the video. Do like the video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future, MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing!